tutorial, we're going to talk about how to stack our clips in different layers. So here in my viewer, I've got this clip of Richie and Andrew dancing in the hallway. I've already made my in and my out. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. Tell it yes. Now to my sequence. I'm going to put my playhead back at the beginning, and I'm going to stack three more clips right on top of one another so I'll have four video tracks. Right now I'm in video track one. I'm going to put one in video track two, three, and up there above it in four. There's a couple of ways you can do this. If your playhead's at the beginning of the clip, you can just drag it back over, and now I can go superimpose. I could just drag it down to my sequence. Be sure you're getting the down arrow in the track where you want to place that clip. There's three, and then I'll drag down another one. There's four. So I have four clips of the same thing in my sequence. Okay, let me arrange my timeline a little bit better so you can see that I've got four clips of the same thing. Now, when I look in my canvas, I only see one. I'm going to go to fit all so we can see it all better in my canvas. You can only see one clip because they're all on top of one another. But if I go up here and turn on my image plus wireframe, image plus wireframe and press down, I can take these clips, I can make them kind of smaller and you can see there's just layers of them. I can move them around my screen. Okay, I'm not going to get these perfectly aligned for you, but you get the idea. We kind of have a picture-in-picture -picture effect, so forth. Okay, now when I play my sequence, we can see Richie and Andrew dancing in four different places, same scene. Now, you guys could use different clips. You wouldn't have to use the same one and stack it. Uh, but it gives you an idea of a nice little effect you can do, something interesting for your music video. Okay, now here's something else. If we take these four clips, we could use that color corrector filter that we talked about before. So I'm going to double click on the bottom layer, layer one, video track one. It's active in my viewer. Effects video filters, color correction, color corrector three-way. Okay, I get that color corrector tab. I'm going to go there. I'm going to make this clip. I'm going to kind of pull it toward the reds. And you can see in my canvas that that clip now is getting a red tint to it. Okay. Now I'm going to double click on what's in video track two, make it active, Go to Effects. I could, Since it was the last filter I used, it just pops up right there, last, Color Corrector 3-Way. Go to the Color Corrector tab. This is the one I'm working with right here. I'm going to make this kind of a green. So I'm going to pull that middle circle over toward the green, tint it green. Now I'm going to double click on what's in Video Track 3. I can look at my video tab and see which one I'm working with. It's got the wireframe on it. I'm going to go to effects, last, color corrector three-way. Okay, go to the color corrector tab. I'm going to pull the tint of this one toward the blue or purples. And then I'm going to go down and select the last one in video track four, effects, color corrector three-way. Well, I've got to make this one visual there. Um, let's see, I think I should make this one maybe kind of toward the yellow, more toward the yellow. Pull that toward the yellow. Okay, so you guys get the idea. Now I've created kind of a pop art kind of look. When I play it, I see all four of them. It's the same clip, but they're all in a different tint. And of course, you could get these lined up just a little more evenly and get them shaped how you want. Don't forget, too, you can always overlap layers, too. Okay? And you can change the order of how they're layered down here in your sequence. So there you go. That's how you can stack clips. Think about what you can do with that, how you can make an interesting effect in your music video.